morning. Why, well, you're here bright and early. Yeah, so I've been up for a couple of hours. I went over to the polo club and watched them work the horses. Oh, so what do you think of our homegrown version of the sport of king? Mm -hmm. Or that tennis? Oh, no, fox hunting. Oh, it doesn't matter, Augusta knows. Yes, well, there's nothing homegrown about it. See, that club can hold us on against the best in Europe. Ah, oh, fine. Fine horses. Mm. Oh, yes, look, I took the liberty of bringing over, what do hotels call it, a continental breakfast. Derek, you're always feeding me. Oh, well, maybe I made a mistake, but I was, uh, was going to call. Oh, that's all right, really, it's fine. But then I decided you might be more relaxed if the um, idea took you by surprise. Oh, I see. Calculated spontaneity. Yeah, this is the best way, isn't it? I mean, if you give people more time, they think too much. But, well, that's not a criticism. My keen over-analytical mind is very helpful as a lawyer. It tends to get in my way a bit in real life. Well, people who know me would probably say that I... I think uh, too much about things. Those are the same people who probably think you're crazy for giving away $25 million. You know, I just realized I may have a point in that. As I was gazing wistfully over the polo fields, I was thinking... Uh, yeah, I won't get into that. Look, I did what I wanted to do. And if you stop doing what you want to do, well, you stop enjoying life. Sounds like a pretty healthy philosophy. Um, no. No, well, maybe not. Maybe it's not a healthy philosophy. The beach. The beach. That's an interesting philosophy, the beach. No, 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 I meant we can have breakfast on the beach. Oh! Oh, I, I get it. I'm sorry. I was so busy trying to agree with you that I didn't know what I was agreeing. Anyway, do you really want sand in your croissants? See, I think we've reached the limits of your pliability. No, I don't mind, really. I mean, if you had brought scrambled eggs, I'd, I'd object. But... Well, when I used to live at the children's home, and used to call those places orphanages, sure. our biggest treat was to be taken to the beach. We could never get enough of it, and I still can't. Well, then, to the beach we'll go. Mm. Here, my hair looks like tumbleweed, and I can't find... Miss Griffin! Uh, uh, yes. I'm sorry, I didn't see you come in. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> what can't you find? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. What is that, breakfast? Oh, would you care to join us, Miss uh, Lockridge? Oh, please, unlike Julia, I don't go in for that Ms. Biz. Augusta will be just fine. Actually, I had a business meeting planned here this morning. Usually, you're at the office by now. Oh, I didn't it's all right. It's all right, really. Uh, we're just going to the beach. I... Oh, how nice. Julia's become a stranger to fresh air. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, uh, yeah. You could never, ever look like tumbleweed. Never you. Uh... I'll get the plate. So, do you have any idea of when you'll be back? I will be back. Well... Sorry, I just wanted to know because the other evening when you didn't come home, I mean, I need to have don't something to tell Mrs. Cobb. When you... Mason is already jumping to conclusions, I don't want to hear it from you, too. The only thing Mason and I have in common is our basic power of deduction. No, it never fails. Every time in the middle of a game, they'll take us right back to the home. Right. I have some very good memories there. Had some really good times here. Well, you're close. All you have to do is walk out the door and you have all of this. Yeah, Mason and I used to take Samantha out here just about every day. Does she spend uh, a lot of time with her father? Well, yeah, she does now. I mean, now that he's acting more rationally. For Mason, anyway, Mason is his most rational, is it what most people would consider rational? But yeah, I, I want them to spend time together. I don't want to get in the way of that. I'm sorry so painful for you to talk about. Time heals everything, huh? Well, there's probably some truth in those three shots. There better be. Is that all it's going to take? Hmm? Time? I wasn't talking about my marriage. I mean, that's beyond healing. I just haven't gotten around to taking any formal steps yet. Maybe you believe in your heart. It's a lost cause. <laughs> when I uh, decided to marry Mason, I was aware of all his strengths and weaknesses, and, and he mine. I mean, he was aware of my eccentricities. I mean, we had already had a baby together. 
We were two adults when we walked it. All right. We were two semi-mature people walking down that aisle, understanding the commitment and, and ready for it. I thought. So, I was wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, losing somebody you love, no matter how it happens, isn't very easy. You and Mason were together a long time. Julia, are you afraid of being alone? No. No, I'm used to being alone. I was alone before Mason, and Mason managed to leave Samantha and I alone a lot. Well, at least you have Samantha now to, uh, to concentrate on, get your life back on track. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have no worries about the financial uh, situation. Oh, I have no intention of taking any money from Mason. I make a good living. I can support my daughter. I mean, if he wants to help out with the tuition or take her on a trip or set up a trust fund or something, that's fine. But, I mean, this, this divorce is not going to be about money. Mm. Anyway, ab about the money. I mean, you're one of the few people who would understand why I don't think it's important. I do understand. Well, your money to charity and I refuse my kind of capital fortune. Is there something wrong with us or is everybody else crazy? You know, I think we're just lucky. I mean, we can manage. There's a lot of people that can't. You're right. But it's good you don't make too much of money or anything else. I mean, look at that barge up there. Can you see it? How big do you think that is? It's all a matter of perspective. Hmm. I've handled a lot of divorces. Some easy, some not so easy. Some 200 billable hours, some only 30. But when I think of all the hours that will make up the rest of my life, My divorce looms much larger. 